Hey guys, what's up, it's Eiflin here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to play Banshee in Warframe in 2019. Now, Banshee is not the frame that a lot of players gravitate towards, but she can be an extremely powerful frame in the right hands and with the right build. Now, this by no means is an in-depth guide on how to play Banshee. This is showing you generally how to use her and how to mod for her different abilities rather than oh yeah if you want something insane use this this is just a general guide showing you how to do things with banshee so don't drill me in the comment section if this isn't the best build in the world or the build that you would use in an endurance run or something like that this is just showing general use banshee and how she can be effective in a regular mission or something like that so let's go ahead and talk about banshee's abilities so here we go. Passive. Number one, weapon noises are hushed so that enemies cannot hear them. So if you think about the mods that make your weapons completely silent or you think about Loki's hushed invisibility augment, it's basically the same thing but in passive form. Every single weapon that you use, the Soma, the, the Corinth, whatever is going to be silent so you can sneak up on enemies and just shoot them in the head and then all the enemies around you won't hear them which makes or opens up the opportunity for you to use Banshee for farming uh, XP, like using the stealth bonus on something like a Daro or something like that. So there's the potential there to do that, but um, that's not usually what Banshee is used for. She used to be used for farming focus on a Daro, but that's not so much anymore because, well, everybody's just farming focus from Eidolons now because it's a lot easier to get into and more people understand that and they don't have to do XYZ thing to prep for that. Well, they kind of do, but they kind of don't. But um, yeah, it's a far less complicated way to farm focus. But um, yeah. So Sonic Boom is her first ability. Banshee emits a sonic shockwave that pushes targets in range with enough force to incapacitate or kill attackers. With my build, I've got a 17.5 drain on that with a 21.75 meter range, 112.5 impact damage, and a strength of 135. Not too sure what that strength stat is there for. I think it's just like, you know, that's how far the enemy is going to be pushed back type of thing, like the oomph of it, but um, don't quote me on that. This is what the ability looks like. It's by far one of my favorite looking abilities in the game. It's just like, oof, you know, energy from the ground. Cool, awesome. It's great. It's cool. It's fun just seeing enemies ragdoll. I guess I can demonstrate that for you. Let's spot in heavy gunners. Hi, heavy gunner. Ragdoll. Cool. Awesome. So that's that. Let's go ahead and kill them so then we don't have to listen to uh, the bullets coming at me. Moving on to the second ability, this is definitely her most used ability, is Sonar. Using an acoustic location, Banshee's Sonar Power finds and tracks enemies and exposes critical weak spots to everyone in your squad. So this is a use the ability, let it expand, it's going to mark enemies on your minimap. Enemies who are marked on your minimap are going to have a glowing weak point. You shoot that glowing weak point and it's going to amplify your damage, all right? So you can see the damage multiplier stat down there. The more power strength you have on, then the higher that uh, multiplicative bonus is going to be, right? And of course, the more range you have on, the more enemies it's going to cover. The more duration you have on, the longer that sonar spot is going to last. So the best way for me to demonstrate this to you is to use it versus um, infested chargers, right? We're going to spawn in 20 invest invested chargers. We're going to pause them. Pausing them doesn't give me any bonus damage. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to cast our two. It's going to expand and it's going to mark those enemies and have this little orange bit appear on them on a random location. Now, the color of it is determined by your energy. Whenever we shoot that glowing bit, what's going to happen is the damage is going to be amplified. So they just die and you deal a pretty... High number apparently that one went for his hand so there's a pretty high number right there and again cool awesome went for his hand again i don't know why and again let's shoot the back leg cool awesome so you can kind of tell but a little noise that it was making whenever i was shooting that um orange spot that it was working i have an augment on which is kind of recasting it whenever i shoot one so that's why you've seen multiple spots appearing on those enemies, even though I wasn't casting them multiple times. So every time that you cast Sonar, it's going to put another spot on the enemies. So you can keep on casting this to 
put multiple spots on and hopefully get the enemy on the head. If you get them on the head, then you're going to get the multiplicative bonus from Sonar, and you're also going to get the headshot multiplier as well. So that's kind of what Banshee players do. They are casting, waiting for the effect to go away, casting again, and then hopefully getting a Sonar spot on the enemy's head and then shooting them and then they die and you can see them all marked in the menu map as well so there you go that's another cool thing that they added with it as well so let's move on we have uh, silence so using silence surrounds banshee in an aura that stuns enemies and will uh response to gunfire and warframe wait okay i completely missed the line there an aura that stuns enemies and will limit their perceptions and tactical response to gunfire and warframe attacks so basically they can't hear shit, right? You use a Suma, then they're like, what? Suma? Where? You know? So I don't know how to demonstrate this best. Um, let me see if I even can. If I unpause AI and I spawn in a heavy gunner, like so, simulate, and I press silence, they get stunned. But I think I'm still detected because I'm in the simulacrum. Yeah, if I wasn't detected, then what would happen is I could like just shoot them in the head with the Soma and then um, they wouldn't be able to hear it. I mean, that, that's her passive anyway, but it's still the same thing. It's like you stun them and then you can just do whatever with them, right? It's just a, a cool stealth ability. Okay, so moving on to our abilities again. Last but not least, we have Soundquake. So Soundquake is a this. What happens is, you see that little orange line over there? Any enemy that is within this radius is going to constantly be like knocked back, uh, not knocked back and stunned, right? So let's try it out here. You see how it expands and these guys just keep on staggering backwards. It's really, really powerful and you can use it to lock down an area. It's definitely a panic button ability. So if you're playing a defense mission with a bunch of noobs and the pod is about to die then you can just hit that and all the enemies will stagger backward and it will give your teammates uh, time to get back up on their feet right so you can also use it as a damage dealing ability and i'll be showing you how to do that in today's video but first off we're going to start with the with the sonar right so the sonar build i actually have it called resonance because the augment that we're using is called resonance so it's a sonar augment killing an enemy by shooting their weak spot will trigger another sonar for 100 percent of the remaining duration so the idea is to keep on killing the enemies by shooting the weak spots to keep this chain of sonar and resonance going to reapply those weak points to have them completely covered in weak points. So, you know, it's just easy for your team to murder enemies and have their damage amplified, right? So the idea is to have your power strength as high as possible. And I'm achieving this by using transient fortitude, umbral intensify and power drift for my power strength have good duration so the ability last longs prime uh, last longs last long prime continuity and uh i think that's it yep just prime continuity on here this time to counteract that transient fortitude because i believe we have like a 30 second duration on here so that's that i've got umbral vitality on here to boost up the effects of umbral intensify because that's how these umbral mods work if you have one equipped then it's going to boost up the stats of the other so if we unequip umbral intensify you see down here it's 44 percent umbral vitality is 440 we equip it it's 55% and now Umbral Fatality is 550, so it's giving us bonus health and bonus power strength, which is awesome. Prime Flu can definitely be replaced for more duration or something. You can, you know, maybe throw on um, Augur Message. You could throw on, is that what it's called? Yeah, Augur Message, or you could throw on Augur Secrets for a higher multiplier. I'd recommend the Augur Message because, I mean, having those spots last longer is probably a lot better. You could even maybe throw on Constitution if you have enough space for it, but... Um, well, would you? You probably would. Yeah, you'd have enough space for Constitution. So, yeah, there's that. Uh, stretches on here for the ability range so that more enemies get marked with one single cast of Sonar. And then Chris Reaction on here so you can deal even more damage to those armored enemies. So, yeah, that is that. So, all we have to do, I'm going to go ahead and re-equip the Dread. Because it's a cool slash weapon. And I'm going to be showing you this versus the Chargers because... I just feel that it's most consistent on the chargers, right? You can definitely use this versus armored enemies, but I prefer showing this off on the chargers. Whoops, I should probably pause them. Let's go ahead and try again. Charger, like so. Yep, pause AI, awesome. So 
Them being paused doesn't give me any bonus damage. So we go ahead and we cast Sonar, wait for it to finish. Cast it again, wait for it to finish. Cast it again, wait for it to finish. And then we can shoot those weak spots. And then that's going to recast, as you can see, with the weird boop. There you go again. Didn't work that time. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I find it works most consistently on the legs. There it happened that time. Didn't happen that time. So let's go ahead and try this out. Happened that time. Didn't happen that time. Happened that time. Didn't happen that time. Happened that time. So you can go ahead and recast while you're in the air. Like so. Okay. Multiple marks. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You just gotta be wary of that. I think there's like a time in between like kind of like a a ghost cooldown sort of thing where you, you don't know that you have to give it a little while in between the the resonant cast because there used to be a bug where you could use a warframe like equinox which is constantly dealing damage to enemies at their feet and you'd have banshee players who were using sonar and then it would constantly be reapplying and it would spam that little weird sound and animation so much that it would actually crash people's games and uh yeah, so it was crazy, and I think that's also to prevent um, people from using beam weapons to constantly be reapplying uh, the marks with, what's it called, resonance as well. So that's probably in there, like a, a ghost cooldown type of thing to prevent that from happening. But moving on to Slime Quake, this is an interesting build. I have as much power strength as possible stacked on here. I would use this in the likes of Hydron if you're carrying a friend to just get their levels and stuff up. Um, I wouldn't be using this practically to be dealing damage to enemies because whenever the enemy's armor scales up or their shields start to scale up or something, this build is definitely going to fall off because Soundquake doesn't have that great scaling. But um, we are using the augment called Resonate and Quake. Soundquake augment uh, forgoes channeling to create a shockwave that deals 20 times damage at the epicenter, gradually weakening as it expands. So enemies here are closer to the initial casting point are going to um, take more damage, right? But as it spreads out, because it's going to be acting more like a wave this time, um, then it um, deals less damage, right? So instead of being like a, a, a toggle ability where you press four and then it drains energy over time, it's now just a single cast and it just spreads around you in a radius, right? So having as much damage on there as possible is ideal, okay? So... I'm going to test this versus level 100, not level 100, level 60 uh, heavy gunners, right? So let's spawn in 20 of them and we're going to make them, well, let's say, let's say level 50, right? That's, that's about the level of Hydron. Okay. We're going to simulate them. We're going to jump into the middle. Now pay attention to how much this costs because this costs a lot. So you definitely want to make sure that you're using energizing dash. You can see how that doesn't deal a lot of damage because they're far away, but if we're closer to them then it deals a little bit more, right? So you're gonna be using this versus pretty low level armored enemies, if at all. I wouldn't recommend it because this used to be so broken that they had to nerf it into the ground. So it just, it's just stand still, cast, 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 cast. You kinda need to have an energy vampire trinity with you or a energizing dash like that right there to regen your energy as you can see down there in the bottom right hand corner so it's not the most effective anymore it used to be meta but no longer you know it can definitely work versus the likes of chargers right like unarmored enemies but versus armored enemies like that it's not gonna happen it's definitely not gonna happen so pay attention to the amount of damage that we deal here it pretty much one shots them right they're level 60 but they have no armor and they are definitely like some of the weaker enemies in the game you can see this guy he has half of his health because he was further away but if we hit them near the center then they just they bye bye you know so that is that and then we have our savage silence build which is definitely my least favorite build in banshee um i find that this never works for me whenever i was trying to do it on adaro um but the idea behind this is to have a high duration and a high range that way Whenever enemies come close to you, then um, they are stunned and you can just, you know, murder them with whatever, right? So the idea is to, let's go ahead and let these guys run towards me. Okay, I did. Okay, so we jump over here and we press our silence. 
they're going to be stunned, right? I do have an augment. Let's go ahead and read what the augment does. So, finisher damage is increased by 300% while silence is active. So, you can go up to enemies and you can do finisher attacks on them when they are silenced. It's kind of weird because it's got good range and you still want to make it so that your your sonar is is working fine but then if you do that then you can't really make use of the augment so i don't know i wouldn't recommend this build if you're you know using it practically but i don't know that's just me i'm not a big fan of it i know there's people out there who use it on a daro and they they just go through they have a little bit less range on it but my idea is to just have it up at all times that way that that way enemies are just going to be stunned before they start shooting at you or whenever they come close so you can decrease the range on it or something or you could even decrease the duration and then have it so you spam it right and then they become stunned again uh, it's entirely up to you what you want to do but um yeah that's just how i, I view it i think that that ability kind of needs a little bit of a rework but yeah that is pretty much it guys i hope you enjoyed this how to play banshee video if you did go ahead hit that like button below if you want to see more warfront content from me hit subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video